So we are here. Now, by being here, what does that mean? What are we here for? And I have come to the conclusion, and I think it's reasonable. People may agree or disagree with it. We're here to solve problems. Now, why do I say we're here to solve problems? Well, because we have problems. And what problems do we have that we're supposed to be solving? The ones right in front of you as an individual person each and every day. Those are the problems. That's your assignment. That's the logic. We we could have been born in a world that had no problems at all. Everybody just walk around and just be in paradise all day and not even think about a problem because problems would be non-existent. But we are given problems, and we have all kinds of problems, small problems, large problems, and the problems just keep coming. The hits just keep on coming. So I concluded some time ago that we are put here to solve these problems, and we are given the tools to do it. Eyes, ears, hands that's got some fingers on them and whatnot, arms that are, uh, hands that are attached to arms. Uh, we have legs and some feet that we can have some mobility and whatnot. We have, like I mentioned before, breath to keep us going. We have certain things that are in us called spirits that give us the incentive to do things. And uh, you have muscles, physical, body muscles and whatnot. This is all standard equipment for problem solving. Or, if you choose, problem making. So the entire premise of my book, the basic premise, just dealing with racism, is to solve problems without making any. That should be the mission of everybody on the planet. According to what? According to Neely Fuller? No. According to logic. Because everything that I've written in the textbook for victims of racism should be based on logic. Logic so, meaning study of call it 